It's Hammerlin and Jameson live from the studio. We're joined by Donald Trump for episode 15 of the Donald Trump Show. Thank you for joining me. Episode 15, the Donald Trump Show. Today we go back to bumbling Biden. That's right, sleeps over Joe. I got a doozy for you tonight. Check this out. I mean, we can't ensure our future is made in America with American pain, good pain, union jobs here at home. Okay, wait a minute. I've been saying America first for like four years, and I'm called a racist, a xenophobe, etc. But Sleep Sofa Joe says it, and everyone's like, oh my goodness, look, Sleepy Joe, he's a genius. Well, honestly, if he doesn't fall asleep on camera, he's going to beat me, but he's going to fall asleep on camera. Just wait for it, people. Here at home, making it in America. Bumbler, here at home, would be made in America. I think he may have said that because Sleepy Joe also owns a piece of land in the Ukraine. These are the most critical investments we can make for the long-term health and vitality of both the American economy and the physical health and safety of the American people. So, Sleepy, you had 44 years in the Senate, eight years as the vice president, and now when you're not in office, you're taking my ideas and pretending that they're your ideas? Even if we weren't facing a pandemic and an economic crisis, we should be making these investments anyway. Look, Sleep Sofa, you could say what you want, but you sound like a bumbling idiot at this point. You were in there for eight years. Do you want me to keep saying it? I will. To power a clean energy revolution in this country, we need to modernize America's infrastructure. That's right. You wouldn't have been able to modernize our infrastructure in the 80s when you were vice president. You were just vice president four years ago, moron. Despite this overwhelming need, this president and the Republican Congress have simply failed to act. Okay, so critique coming from a guy who's been hiding in his basement since he left office at 16. He was in his basement pre-coronavirus, you know that, right? Ten thousands. Actually, tens of thousands. How many? Ten thousands. Actually, tens of thousands. Wow, that's a lot, Joe. There's no other way of saying it. Well, for Joe Biden, you're right. There's only one way of saying it. The sleep sofa way. Donald Trump promised a big infrastructure bill when he ran in 2016. I have massive plans for this country, but the Democrats have not made it easy. Seems like every few weeks, when he needs a distraction from the latest charges of corruption in his staff or the conviction of high ranking members of administration and political apparatus, the White House announces, quote, it's infrastructure week. Sleep Sofa, you know, I have to tell you, I think you should just stop running. Because every time you have a gaffe, or every time you say something super racist, the media starts a race war, or they totally flip it. Oh, he raped someone? Let's talk about how much integrity he has. But he's never delivered. Way to go, Joe. Let's find the one or two things I couldn't do in the first four years, and let's make a big deal out of it. He's never really even tried. I have to say, Sleepy, Sleep Sofa Joe is hilarious. Partly for the goofy things he says with a straight face, but then look at what he said there. I haven't tried. I don't try. Are you kidding me? I sleep like three hours a day. I don't get paid for my job. And I get crapped on all day by you fake news morons. And you say I don't try. Well, I know how to get it done. The only thing that Sleep Sofa Joe knows how to get done is putting his head on a pillow and taking a nap. That he can get done every single day, afternoon, night. Look, I've got to go, but I'll see you tomorrow on the next Donald Trump Show.